Now, let's get started with a review of microbial classification. We begin with a look at bacterial structures. The outer region of the cell contains peptidoglycan, a polymer composed of sugars and amino acids, which provides a rigid support structure for the cell and protection from osmotic pressure imbalances. In gram-positive bacteria, the outer membrane is typically missing. There is a thick peptidoglycan layer containing tychoic acids, which induce TNF and interleukin-1. In gram-negative bacteria, there is an outer membrane which contains lipopolysaccharide and endotoxin. Lipopolysaccharide is composed of a sugar chain and lipid A. Lipid A induces TNF and interleukin-1. The cytoplasmic membrane is composed of lipids and proteins and contains enzymes used for transport and oxidative phosphorylation. Between the cytoplasmic membrane and the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria is the periplasm, which contains many hydrolytic enzymes. Inside the cell are ribosomes used for protein synthesis and plasmids that contain genes for antibiotic resistance, enzymes, and toxins. For mobility, bacteria have flagella and to mediate adherence, fimbrae, which are protein filaments. Pili, which are protein filaments slightly larger than fimbrae, assist in the transfer of genetic material between bacteria. And to protect against phagocytosis, capsules are produced that are composed of polysaccharide. These structures can also aid in the attachment of bacteria to surfaces. For example, indwelling catheters, formation of biofilms, and acting as antigens. Some bacteria form endospores, which help to protect them against dehydration, heat, and other environmental pressures. The cell wall of both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria contain many common features, including a cytoplasmic membrane, peptidoglycan, capsule, pilus, and flagellum. The peptidoglycan layer is much thicker in the gram-positive bacteria and contains tachoic acid. In gram-negative bacteria, the peptidoglycan layer is composed of just a few layers. There is an outer membrane containing lipopolysaccharides and lipoproteins and a periplasmic space between the outer membrane and the cytoplasmic membrane. The lipopolysaccharides in the outer membrane are endotoxins. Two bacteria with unusual cell membranes or cell walls are mycoplasma, which has no cell wall and whose membrane contains cholesterol, and mycobacteria, whose cell wall contains mycolic acids and lipids. The gram stain is used to differentiate between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Gram-positive cells have a thick peptidoglycan wall that stains purple, while gram-negative cells have a thinner peptidoglycan layer that stains pink. However, some bugs just do not stain well. These include treponema, which is too thin to be seen, rickettsia, an intracellular parasite, mycobacteria, whose cell wall has a high lipid content, mycoplasma, which has no cell wall, legionella pneumophila, which is primarily intracellular, and chlamydia, which is also an intracellular parasite. These microbes that do not stain well can be remembered with the mnemonic, these rascals may microscopically lack color.